Bible says we sow sparingly, we'll reap sparingly. But if yeah. we sow bountifully, and, we'll reap bountifully. And I just give it in the hands of the Lord, Amen. knowing that that uh, He's in charge of the uh, the harvest. And I just pray and hope that God will save a multitude of souls, and that in eternity I'll see people that I gave tracks to or. Maybe gave well, a I'm just uh, glad we met with you, uh, that God put you in our path that day on that bus. So uh, we probably would have never met. And I just thank God for you, the work you're doing here in New York. And uh, we know a great harvest is coming. I just want to encourage you to keep on, keep on pressing on. That's right. And, and also, Jesus said, the harvest is great, but the labors are few. Pray ye there for the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth labors into his harvest field. In New York City and 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 the surrounding uh, suburbs, you don't have to fly to another country because in New York City there's every country here. Hey, you got man. people from Africa, you got them from China, you got them from Russia, and it's good to have tracks in different languages uh, available to give. The, you know, if you're able to, even if you don't speak their language. You can give them, give a track out with hope that they will read it in their language and they might call upon the Lord and be saved. But New York City has every race and nationality. So you can be a missionary at home where you are. Amen. Appreciate you talking with me, Richard. Thank you.